The first thing we're going to configure in Expression Engine is the template section. And the templates are located under Design, under Templates, and we could either click on Edit, Create Group, or Template Manager. So we'll click on Create Group. Think of template groups in Expression Engine akin to directory folders on your server. And we're going to create a template group name Home. I know that this name is a little confusing, but basically this is going to just store our index file that will be our home page. We are not going to duplicate any groups, and we do need to indicate that this template group is going to be our site's home page. So what this checkbox does in Expression Engine is instead of going to your site.com forward slash home and seeing your home page, if it knows that this template group will be displaying your home or index page, it will actually remove this file name or folder name from your URL. So to get into the home directory, you would just go to your main site. Technically, we can call this home directory whatever we want. Conventionally in EE, it's been called the site folder. Um, but we're going to name it home for some naming conventions that, that we'll see as we move forward. So let's go ahead and create this template group. And now we can see that we have our template group on the left here and a template already created for us. That's our index. This index will become our index page um, for our site. So if we click into here and into this text field, we're going to paste in the index page from our template. So if we come over to our code editor and open up our index page, we're just going to take all of that content and paste it into this text area here, expression engine. This template editor will let us edit any of our templates on our site pretty easily online. They do have options to be able to save these files offline and edit um, or save them to your server and edit them via FTP, but we'll just be using the control panel for this example. So now that we have all of our static content saved, let's go ahead, um, update and finish this template. And then let's go ahead and take a look at our site, which we can do by clicking on the name of the site in the upper right hand corner. Let's go ahead and open that up in a new tab and look at what we've got. We've got all the HTML that we pasted directly from our site. Now we'll see that the CSS is not working, which makes sense, we haven't set it up yet, and we're not getting some of our images, but we do have all of our markup, and it's that easy to go from straight markup into Expression Engine. In the next steps, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and chunk up the index file into some includes files called embeds in Expression Engine, and we'll get that style sheet link working.